Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a quick energy check-in reading. We're going to see what your person is feeling and thinking and what energy they could be bringing towards you. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? What do they need to know about their person and situation? All right, so we have want you back and make up sex. The fight is not worth losing you. They want to make up for lost time in bed. So this is someone thinking about you wanting to have sex with you, wanting to make the situation better. They may even feel that you guys having sex with each other is going to fix things. So let's see where this goes. Yeah, somebody wants a fresh start with you. Somebody wants to come back together after a fight. We have arguments, creating drama, moments of tension. So some of you may have been arguing with your person. Um, for others of you, I feel like there may be new love here or you're wanting to go towards someone new. You may have met them already or this is someone new coming in. We have a new relationship is entering your life who will be a reflection of your newfound authenticity. All right, so there's a lot of cards that just slid out. Um, I think I'm going to take all of them. Normally I wouldn't, but I think I'm going to. All right, so we have won't let you go, attraction, friends, and haunted. So someone is haunted by your memory or haunted by what you brought to the connection. We have intense emotions about you, obsessive thoughts, and in love with you. This person is still attracted to you. They could even talk to their friends about you, Leo. We have friends know about it, asking friends for advice, friends interfering. So I feel like this person that you're dealing with, there could be a person or more than one person that they're talking to about you and somebody agrees with the situation of how things are going and there's someone else who doesn't. There may be someone here who don't think you guys belong together and it could be because you're with someone else. They may be telling you, I mean, it could be because they're with someone else. Like their friends could be telling your person to stay with who they're with, possibly because there's a lot of history between them. But I feel like this person is in love with you. They want to be with you, but they have um, obligations elsewhere. I'll say that. Whether they're married or um, just in a com another committed relationship or living with someone else. Sarah, what messages do you have for Leos? Yeah, somebody is lonely without your company. And they want to start things over. We have, I closed the door before, but I'm now ready to let you in. I'm feeling the burn of loneliness, but I'm ashamed to admit that. And we have deep regrets. Thinking of you a lot. Poor decisions. So someone made some poor decisions discerning, concerning you guys' connection. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to read this card. It's, it's so dark right here. We have situations in their mind is making this person think about you a lot. It's like they can't get you off their mind. We have just leave. It's not working out. So they're thinking about leaving somebody else to be with you. There's something about this reading where I feel. All right. So we have trapped boundaries. Just leave. It's not working out when you don't protect or overprotect your boundaries, your needs go unmet. Yeah, you're feeling like the need to set boundaries with whoever this is. I feel like you've let this person get away with something for so long, and you may feel like this is the reason why you guys' connection is what it is. We also have trapped. So this person could be in an unhealthy relationship with someone else, and they want to leave that relationship to come towards you, but they're not quite sure if it's going to work out. Whoever this is has issues with you and they have issues with somebody else. Because I see issues here with another person and then issues here with another person. So it's like they could be arguing with you about trying to make things right with you and then dealing with something else at home and maybe just not telling you. But somebody is worried that it may be too late for you guys to work things out here. And it's like they want to, but they're afraid. They're afraid to tell you what's really going on or they feel like you won't understand it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? What is their person feeling and thinking?
Yeah, there's some conflict here about a sacrifice. Exactly. This person is praying for better days. We have indecisive, conflicting feelings, unsure of the relationship, and conflict. We have sacrifice for love, must give up something, painful decisions. So this person know that they need to walk away from another relationship or connection that they're in in order to have what they want with you, but they feel like it's not going to be easy. And they could be praying about the situation. All right, so let's get a couple more and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Sarah, what messages do you have for Leos? Yep, this person is married. They could also be in a hospital a lot or they may have some sort of illness. Or maybe you guys met this person at a hospital. You guys may work together here for those of you who resonate with this. But this is normally when the main lady comes out, this is normally the wife. We have, they have chosen, no interference, focused on one person. They could be focused on this person because you guys aren't together. Because we also have not over. So we have not over on this side and then we have main lady on the side. So they could be staying with this person out of obligation or because there's a lot of history or they may not be able to walk away from the situation right now. Also, I feel like whoever this is, there's something about this person being sick all the time and this main lady may take care of them a lot. All right, so take it how it resonates. That's not going to be everybody's story there, but that's someone's uh, situation. Yeah, toxic karmic love. And then we have, so yeah, this person is in some sort of toxic situation. They may also be an alcoholic. Okay, they abuse um, just alcohol, just, you know, having DUI arrests, drunk texting you. They have a lot of financial problems due to drinking. And, but they're still hang, hanging on to you. They still want this connection. This is somebody who refuses to see how destructive their bad habits have um have made this connection because i feel like this is someone who's trying to hang on to you but also trying to hang on to this other person for whatever reasons and it may not be about love where they're trying to hang on to this person it may be because they get something out of the situation we also have seen some bullshit so some of you saw something whether it was online in this person's phone you noticed something about the situation and it may have caused you to pull back we have no one they fucked up we also have longing, longing to be together, missing you, nostalgia, and suffering in silence. So this is someone who is missing you, who is suffering when it comes to not being able to see you or talk to you, but they refuse to speak out right now because they just have a lot going on with themselves. Like, I feel like this person is just wanting to be by themselves right now, but still loving you, wanting your attention, but not speaking out about it, like not saying so. All right, so let's pull some tarot. what messages do you have for leos what do they need to know about their person all right so we all expect expect for this person to come in at some point so we have the full card and the knight of swords so this could be an aries for some of you or an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius who wants a new beginning with you this person is going to out of the blue just decide let me reach out to leo and see if they're going to respond to me or see if they're going to talk to me we also have the fourth cup. So they see you as a missed opportunity, but there's still a third party situation going on here that I feel like this person doesn't want to deal with because they feel like it's just too much for them right now. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody is coming towards you extremely slow, but they, de they do see you as their sense of happiness with the Nine of Cups. And we have the world. Something ended here between you and this person, but they don't want this to be over. This could be a Scorpio that you guys are dealing with. With every ending comes new beginnings. So I feel like at some point there's going to be a new beginning. I'm sorry, guys. That card just slipped out and fell on the floor. Give me one second. All right. So we have the Six of Cups here, which is definitely reconciliation. But not only that, I feel like some of you have um, a lot of history with this person, whoever this is. You may have known them since childhood, or maybe you grew up with them. Maybe you guys went to school together, or it's like you were in a connection where it was like off and on. Maybe sometimes you guys would break up, 
um, you know, for a couple of months and then come back together. Spirit. I don't know why you guys' cards keep flipping out of the deck yet. The Judgment card is all about second chances and someone has made up their mind about the situation. Page of Wands. Could be a younger fire sign, Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius, or a Scorpio. With this page of wands energy, you're going to get a message from this person. I feel like they're trying to figure out what to say. I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that this person is not shy, but it's like they don't know what's going to work. So they're like, I don't want to say anything dumb. I don't want to fumble on you know what I need to say to Leo because they may feel like they only have one chance to make this right with you. Okay, what messages do you have for Leo's? Yeah, there was a tower moment you went through with this person, but I feel like they want to make something right. They're still keeping their eye on you with the Page of Swords, but they're hiding their feelings with the High Priestess. Could be a Pisces here. We have double Scorpio with the Judgment and the Tower. So for some of you, it's definitely a Scorpio here. It's some, you want to, like This person wants to make something right with you. Uh, the train just went by. So that's confirmation that somebody's coming in that has something to say. We also have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. So this person is constantly thinking about not wanting to let this go because they've put in a lot of work. I also see healing here with the Four of Swords and you being on this person's mind. This person has money on their mind as well. Leo, I feel like for some of you, if you're working on something or you're trying to find a new job with this Ace of Pentacles or you're trying to buy something, it's coming in for you. This is something that's going to be gifted to you. All right, so what messages do you have for Leo? What do they need to know about this person? What is their person feeling and thinking? Yes, yeah, someone stabbed you in the back here. And I feel like they're ashamed of their actions and they're, they could be hiding out, but still wanting this new beginning with you. We have the Hierophant here, could be a Taurus or a Pisces with the Moon card. But someone wants a fresh start with this Ace of Cups. It's like they see you as someone that they want in their life, even though they betrayed you in some kind of way. It's like they don't want this to end this way. So however things ended between the two of you, they don't want it to be this way. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth's Energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. You know what? Also with this Queen of Pentacles, this person feels like um, you're very nurturing or you were very nurturing to them. You were very kind and considerate. It's like you always thought about their feelings and they feel like they don't have that anymore. For some reason, I think this person, some of you were married to this person with the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles, or this person is married. All right, yeah, Three of Cups here. This could have been about a third party situation where this person now is trying to figure out how do they come in and have an equal give and take with you? They don't want to let this go. I'll tell you that with the seven of cups here. They're trying to figure out what options do they have to like for getting you back. Yep, they snuck away from this. The reason why this person is feeling this way, Leo, is because somebody snuck away from this connection and they didn't tell you everything. And now with the Three of Pentacles, they want to come back in and make something work with you. We have the Death card reversed here. So things are not over between the two of you. We also have the Two of Cups. There's still a lot of love and a lot of feelings that this person has for you. It's like they don't seem to think that this is, this is over. They don't want this to end. They know that there are some changes that they need to make. I don't feel like this person has changed though because the death card is in reverse the death card in the upright is change and transformation but when it's in reverse it's just the opposite so i don't see that this person has made a lot of changes in their life but i feel like that's not going to stop them from still loving you and wanting to be back in your presence it's like they want to be back in your life but they haven't changed anything This 
this person may be looking at the situation is that you're the only person that can make them happy. It's like they, this looks like someone who's been through a lot of relation or been in a lot of relationships before. And they have never come across anyone like you with this two of cups being here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Star card here. Aquarius energy. Some of you are definitely married to this person. Some of you could be married to an Aquarius. And you're wondering if you can make this. Um, well, they're wondering if they can make this work with you. This person is very guarded. They do want to heal the situation with you. They don't want to give up. On, for those of you who are married to an Aquarius, they don't want to give up on this connection. If you have a family with them and you guys live together, it's like they're thinking about how to make something work with you, but they're still very guarded. So you guys could be walking around the house like not saying anything to each other. Both of you may be in your heads with the hermit card here. Also Virgo energy. Some of you may be on a Leo Virgo cusp. All right, let's get some more. This person spends a lot of time thinking about you. I'll tell you that. And just not saying anything. Yep, Two of Swords. Because they know there's a decision that they need to make here with this Queen of Wands. Two of Swords energy. And the Two of Wands. Wow, look at that energy. It's like, I don't know what decision to make. I'm stuck. I'm at a stalemate. Also, you know what? If um this person has a family with the Ten of Pentacles here they're really stuck like really stuck because they have a family situation that they're thinking about walking away from and it's not going to be easy because i feel like they've been with this person for years and they're like how do i do this how do i make this happen like they just feel like there's going to be some sort of tower moment chaos drama issues problems whatever you know they know that you're worth it but they're like what am i going to encounter walking away from this and going towards Leo. But the Two of Cups is here. So this is someone who feels like they can't be without you. They don't want to. Could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio, or younger Earth sign with the Page of Pentacles that is trying to offer you something. This person may also feel intimidated by you, Leo. They may feel like they don't have a lot to offer. Yeah, definitely intimidated by you with this Nine of Pentacles. But they're still hanging on to you. They still don't want to let this go. But the Eight of Cups in reverse, if someone walked away from you, they're not happy at all. Ten of Wands, they're burdened. They're stressed out. They're wanting to hang on to you. They don't know what they can offer you right now. They may not have much. But you're still definitely in this person's heart and still on their brain. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.